vodka and soda is a great way to spend a Saturday and a perfect way to start off a rant about do not buy the two-player booty booty butt cheek starter deck. Hear me out first. I know it's a starter deck, but this is the worst starter deck I've ever seen. Let's dive on into it, shall we? Vanilla Monsters in 2024. Oh my god. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it is your host with the most, Avery LR32 here, and destroy the ever-living starter deck boo-boo stain. Off of that like and subscribe button as we climb even higher, the 1300 ladder, we're just going to jump straight into it. This starter deck is hot garbage. So, Konami in about four days OTS time, six days all the other stores time, we are getting the brand new two-player starter deck that has, of all things, a double-A Zeus reprint. Woo! As if we needed a Zeus reprint. Zeus is not even that expensive right now. Um, so who cares? Plus, also, most decks aren't even really playing Zeus right now because they're opting to go with Sky Crisis, which is arguably better. Um, so take that for what you will. Now, I know, I'm sure I'm going to have some people saying in the comments as my phone goes off that, hey, Avery, this is a starter deck. What is it that you're expecting from a starter deck like you're not going to have these god cards in a starter deck that you can buy for 20 25 dollars however much this garbage set is or garbage starter deck it's not even a set i'm not expecting that what i am expecting out of a starter deck in 2024 now that we know what's in it is a deck or in this case a two-player deck that you can buy for 20 bucks however much it is i don't know how much it is off the top of my head i'm sure it's too much uh, just like Rarity Collection 2 is $10 a pack, which is insane. Um, but I expect it to teach you how to play the game to a degree in the manner that the game is played in 2024. It should not teach you how the game worked in 2002, where you would set a giant soldier of stone of all things, which is in one of the decks, which I think is fucking hilarious, and like set a kunai with chain or a trap hole, woo, interactions, and like end your turn. That's not how Yu-Gi-Oh is. I feel like the majority of people would agree that the Yu-Gi-Oh TCG in particular in 2024 is the combo fighting game style of tcgs like you know like a tekken 6 or tekken 10 however many tekkens there are or street fighter 8 however many there are it's the combo card game of tcgs whereas magic and pokemon are more chess related and how pokemon's much more affordable granted that's because of set rotation and stuff like that so like you know you can buy the world championship deck for like a hundred dollars or whatever it is but it's more combo oriented. And everybody will agree that Yu-Gi-Oh! in 2024 is, as my dad says, combo, 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 combo. Whereas I just want to play Mystic Mind. That's my dad saying that, not me, because my dad's a fucking scrub. <laughs> but love him to death, right? But what's in these starter decks is so horrible. And again, I'm not expecting god tier reprints. But looking at one of these, <laughs> we got Spirit of the Harp with her 2000 defense ass. We've got Ojama Green, and Ojama Yellow is in the other one, so I don't know how the fuck you're going to learn to play the game with that. We've got Swords of Revealing Light, because that's good in 2024. A Storming Mirror Force, thank God for that. Card Card D, because everybody's playing that. Fissure and Dark Hole, because yeah, every deck is playing Dark Hole now. DD Crow, sure, an extra reprint, why not? Um, a Cosmic Cyclone, Magic Cylinder, oh, but you get a Visa Starfrost reprint, yay. Like, looking at this spoiler set here, it, it, they could have at least put the Visa Starfrost Vicious Astrouts uh, fusion in here. Uh, there's not even fusion monsters in this. I didn't even realize that till now. There's not even fusion monsters in this to teach you how to fusion summon. So I knew that there were no pendulum monsters in this, but I didn't realize that there were no fusion monsters. So they don't even teach you how to fusion summon, nor, spoiler alert now, they don't even teach you how to pendulum summon. And this is what's insane to me. They call this a starter deck where they have like a little... I guess manual in the thing where it's a step-by-step turn-by-turn simulated duel that you can play out to learn how the game plays which is fine like that's whatever but there's not a single pendulum monster and now that I'm looking at the spoiler set there's not even a fusion monster now I get in a starter deck uh, I would not expect the deck to encompass every way to say like fusion summon right because you have fusion spells you have contact fusion with like gladiator beasts and things like that um, more recently, like the Vicious Astroud thing, you just banish the materials, whatever. I wouldn't expect a 
starter deck to encompass all of that in the deck, but I would at least expect it to, you know, be talked about in the manual. But the fact that they don't encompass, of all things, Pendulum Summoning is insane to me. Because now you can't even say, oh, well, this is going to teach you how to play the game and like every aspect of the summoning mechanics because it fucking doesn't. And this goes into like more of a bigger conspiracy theory that I know a lot of people have had where it's like, you know, Konami wants you to forget about Pendulum Summoning because they realize they screwed up when we had Pepe in 2016, or as my friend called it back in the day, PP One Touch, because it was a tier zero deck and it was bonkers insane until they fixed it with Master Rule 4 and eventually made it even better with Master Rule 5 and like, you know, what we're in right now. And that's all well and good, right? But they don't even have the audacity to like throw in a Time Gazer and a Stargazer Magician or whatever the card's called. Slap those bitches down in your Pendulum Zone and teach you how to Pendulum Summon. Like, at least give the decks, or what they should have done was put in like a Supreme King Gate Infinity and the other gate like that has like a scale of zero, the other one's like a 12, so that you have a broad idea of like how to summon. So what's little Timmy going to do when they buy this starter deck and they start going to locals and they get hit with the one dude playing Pendulum Magician? They're just not going to know and they're going to to crap their pants all over the floor and never come back like <laughs> that's so hilarious to me and again it goes to show how much konami hates pendulum summoning they're like yeah we we fucked up on this we're not going to include this here's exceeds here's synchros here's all that and of course they're pushing exceeds and synchros there's not even any link monsters in here there's no fusion monsters in here if you're trying to teach people how to play the game wouldn't you at least include one of each monster for the extra deck in the damn sets like again i didn't realize that till i started looking back at the spoiler set i didn't realize there wasn't even any fusions uh no links no nothing that's insane to me like unless I'm looking at this wrong. Yeah, no. Like, one of the starter decks has four Exceeds, uh, Castell, Emerald, Giga Brilliant, and Zeus. And then the other one has four Synchros, which is like, they're just irrelevant. It's like Coral Dragon, the Stygian Synchro thing, the Mana Diem Synchro thing, uh, the new one, and then like some other Synchro. I can't even tell what it is. It's irrelevant. So, like... Uh, wouldn't you expect starter decks to include like every extra deck aspect of the game to teach you how to play and i was thinking about making this video and sitting here and being like look don't buy this starter deck you know it's it's garbage you shouldn't even buy it like if you're trying to learn better how to play the game because you can do youtube but now that i realize like not even every single summoning mechanic is in this why would you buy this like t truly why if you've never touched a Yu-Gi-Oh card if you've never opened up a pack like oh this smells so good baby uh, it, which it smells good don't lie you know you've done that shit don't even try to deny it <laughs> i'm not gonna look at the only weird ass that's ever done that you know you've done that shit you've opened up a fresh pack and been like damn this smells good but regardless if you've never touched a Yu-Gi-Oh card in your life and you're watching this video, I'm telling you, don't buy this crap because it's just awful. Like, you can't even make the argument to buy it to learn because it doesn't even teach you everything. Even if, like, in the manual or guidebook, whatever the fuck it is now, a Bible, and tells you, hey, this is how you do it. No, screw you. I want you to, like, show me hands-on. Some people learn hands-on. When it comes to building PCs and stuff, I learn hands-on. That's just how I am. And so, uh, putting this out for... A Zeus reprint and an Emerald reprint, I guess. <laughs> and an Ojama Yellow and Green reprint and a Giant Soldier of Stone reprint. I guess. Sure. Why the fuck not? But again, it doesn't teach you how the game is actually played in 2024. And I actually think it's kind of funny. Like, for the people that do buy this. And then they realize, hey, fucko. Uh, you have to now go spend $1,000 on Fire Kings. And you have to actually spend 1000 bucks Because you don't have any of like the staple hand traps and shit you don't have an sp little night <laughs> oh my god take me to church so in all fairness vodka is good this starter deck sucks a pile of monkey nuts and uh, I think you should just go watch YouTube videos to learn how to play. I think you should go on duelingbook.com, make yourself a little account on your little computer or whatever, and just start building decks and playing cards and like following along in a YouTube video. There has to be a better way to learn how to play the game in 2024 than like reading through a little booklet on how the fuck you play. It, it makes no sense to me. Plus, I feel like most people now in 2024 would learn things better and even just pay better attention, even with how short attention span most Momos have in the world nowadays, <laughs> uh, because of TikTok and shit, most people would rather watch videos, or even some may want to like read a TCG Player article. 
you know, I personally enjoy reading TCG player articles. I like reading articles in general about, you know, the world and like how a game works and things like that. You know, some people just want to watch a YouTube video. Uh, not everybody wants to sit down and read a booklet and do a turn by turn duel on how to play, especially like if it is a younger kid, which most younger kids nowadays, I would argue, have really short attention spans. I don't think that's really going to jive well with them. I mean, of course, if a kid has like a short attention span, they're probably not playing the game anyway. I guess you could make that argument if you tried hard enough, but it just, this seems like a massive flop. I really don't think it teaches you all that well, especially if not every single summoning mechanic's included in it. Like, at least include that. If it's like a new summoning mechanic, like when we got Synchro Monsters, you want the starter deck to focus solely on Synchro Monsters, that's fine. But this is like how to play the game as a whole. No, it doesn't teach you shit. <laughs> Guys, let me know what you think down in the comments below. I can't wait to see these starter decks at my locals. I pray that I do. And then we waltz on up in there with our $1,000 Fire King deck and we just get free wins. <laughs> it's probably not going to happen, but I hope it does. Guys, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.